A quick battery test today. I have a pair of Olight 18650s in for testing. These are lithium ion rechargeables and they're primarily designed for torches and other applications of that type. Looking at the listing for these batteries, you'll see that they're available in um, pairs and you can pick the capacity that you want. These are rated to 2600 milliamps an hour and they go right the way up to 3600 for the top end batteries with the price corresponding on each so you can decide which ones that you need. Looking at the specifications here this will give you an idea of the size. They're just a touch longer than some cells but it's only the really large capacity ones that tend to increase the size a bit more. The recharge cycles of 500 is really for full and discharge cycles. If you recharge these say at 50-60% around there you'll get significantly more recharge cycles than 500 out of them. On the back packaging it just goes through some of the specifications. Now these are designed really for torches if you're vaping and stuff like that you'll probably want uh, higher wattage and amperage batteries up to around about 20 amps are the ones that I usually use or possibly higher but these are for general purpose and uh, flashlights and torches and such. Opening up the back of the packaging, you can just push them through. Now these are the nipple top variety. Most devices can take both, but do check to make sure which ones you need. And they are also protected as well. That means that they can't be over discharged and they can't be overcharged. They have a protection circuit, so that makes them quite safe batteries to use. What I'm doing now is putting the batteries into a capacity tester. And this is designed to test accurately how much the actual capacity of each cell is individually and it does that by charging the cells to their full rating and then discharging them and then counting how much current it's taken out of the cells rather than put in. It's a much more accurate and reliable method of testing batteries for the actual capacity. So I ran this through the cycle and I got a result of 2,633 and 2,703 milliamps an hour. So both cells were above their rated capacity and that's exactly what you want to see. So you know exactly what you're getting is accurate to the real capacity of the batteries as you'd expect with quality batteries like this. Nothing to really fault the Olights on. They deliver above the stated label capacity so you can make a choice yourself on which ones you need and the price as well. Obviously with the batteries like this you do get what you pay for to a degree. I have tried some of the cheaper ones so it's really up to yourself to decide whether you want good quality premium batteries and if you do these are certainly worth looking at. 